Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to bring you guys the top 5.5 dividend stocks that could generate you passive income. That means while you're asleep, that means while you're doing absolutely nothing at all, this is the easiest form of passive income that there is. Some of these passive incomes, you have to buy real estate, you have to watch the stock market, you have to watch the business to kind of actively, passively generate passive income. But with these dividend stocks, this is by far the easiest way. You don't have to do anything at all but invest into these companies. And then every single month or every single quarter, you will receive a paycheck just from holding these companies inside of your portfolio. That is called dividend investing. Now, dividends is when companies pay their shareholders a percentage back to their investors. So just from you investing into their companies, this is a way from them saying, hey, thank you for investing into our companies. Here's a little check. And what do we do with that check? We go spend it. Now I'm just playing. Now we don't spend the money. When we get our dividends, we reinvest it right back into that company. That's what they want you to do. So for that reason, they win. And then also we win because when we reinvest our dividends back into that company, we have more money invested into that company. And then we get paid even more the next month when they send us our next check in the form of dividends. That is passive income at its finest guys that is called the snowball effect and boy oh boy oh boy has the snowball effect start to take place in, in 2021 and now it's 2022 and we're gonna get we're gonna keep that snowball rolling until eventually it's big enough to retire us all and we living on the beach somewhere sipping mojitos so if you guys want to do nothing at all and receive these dividends make sure that you stick throughout this entire video so you don't miss out on any crucial information go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because it helps out this channel more than you can even imagine and subscribe but before we dive into it this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit any amount of money. There is no more excuses. You could deposit one penny if you want to, and you receive five free stocks valued up to around $8,000. With those five free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money. Also, I left a link in the description to Coinbase. That is by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency right now if you click my link down in the description you'll receive a 10 free dollars for signing up and buying bitcoin and also as a bonus just because i love you guys if you deposit 100 dollars to mumu down in the description and sign up you'll receive another five free stocks valued up to eight thousand dollars so don't miss out on all this free money opportunity this is an awesome way to start off the 2022 year there's no more excuses even if you have or don't have money the journey starts today but enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on the first stock, which is PepsiCo, ticker symbol PEP. Over the last year, they have completely killed it. They are up 16.47%. Um, if we take a look at their dividend yield, they have a dividend yield of 2.47%. And the reason I love Pepsi guys is because they are dividend aristocrats. Now pay very close attention into what I'm about to tell you guys. Now dividend aristocrats are companies that are inside of the S&P 500 and have been increasing their dividends every single year for the last 25 years. Now, Pepsi has been increasing their dividends for the last 49 years, guys. That's longer than I've even been alive. But here's the kicker, and this is why Pepsi is number one on the list, is because once you're inside the S&P 500 and you increase your dividends for the last 50 years, you are no longer a dividend aristocrat. You are a dividend king. And Pepsi has been increasing their dividends for the last 49 years, and in 2022, they will officially become dividend kings. All they have to do is increase their dividends this year, and they are dividend kings. So you bet your buck, if you invest into PepsiCo, they're going to increase not about 999 times out of 1,000. They're going to increase their dividends this year in order to become dividend kings, and that will put them at the top of the list, guys. PepsiCo, ticker symbol PEP, that is the very first company that I'm personally going to invest my money into because it's not financial advice. Please do your own research, but I'm going to invest my money into PepsiCo because I know that they're going to become dividend kings this year and they're going to increase their dividend yield. Um, so right now it's around 2.47%. So I know it's going to go up from there. And then I will receive payments from PepsiCo every single quarter in the mill by doing absolutely nothing at all. And that's stock number one, Pepsi. 
Stock number two is any bank that you currently bank with right now. If you bank with Bank of America, they have they have been going up. They're up 46% over the last year. They're up 95% over the last five years, and they have a 1.69 dividend yield. Let's take another quick look at Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, they're up 60% over the last year. Um, dividend yield 1.24%. Now, this is the kicker. If you invest, let's say you save $2,000 every single month, you put it inside Wells Fargo, you put it inside... Bank of America, $2,000 every single month that you're saving, you're putting away into that savings account. That's around $24,000 a year, around $100,000 uh, in four years. The interest that you will earn by putting that inside of uh, Wells Fargo, it's a Bank of America, that $100,000 will now be around $100,050 just from the interest of holding your money in that bank. Now, let's just say you invested half of that um, only a thousand dollars. You put a thousand dollars into Wells Fargo, your saving account, and you put a thousand dollars invested into Wells Fargo, a thousand dollars invested into Bank of America. Now you're going to have forty eight thousand dollars invested by the end of four years. But now you invest into the company that you actually bank with. So when it goes up 60 percent, that forty thousand, that forty eight thousand dollars is now worth around ninety-eight thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars and also you will be receiving dividends every single quarter from the bank that you're currently banking with so yes it's good to have a savings account but to have all of your eggs in one basket with a company that you're already banking with that bank is using your money that you're putting inside of there to invest into the stock market so why not invest into them because when they win you win and you're already banking with them so you might as well get paid dividends from investing into any pretty much every bank out there pay dividends if they don't find a bank that you trust in our light and then start investing into them all right guys so stock number two is any bank that you currently bank with that have different dividends don't go chasing dividends make sure that it's a good quality bank don't say hey this is bank abc and they have a eight percent dividend yield don't do it uh, invest into banks that you actually know and are used guys so that's stock number two your choice any bank that you are currently with or that you've been with for a while guys make sure that you're also investing into them. So a lot of the companies that I called out last year on the top five to buy for 2021 actually did pretty well this year. Uh, this year. All of them did pretty well this year. So, so if you want to be a part of every time I buy and sell stocks, I'm going to leave a link to Patreon down in the comment section. That'll take you to my Discord over there. I post every single time I buy and sell stocks. Every single time I post option ideas, option trades, where we grow small accounts to large accounts, uh, technical analysis. And then you'll be a part of a community, uh, a large group of very small smart individuals over there that can help the beginner trader out or even advanced traders to where we're growing our accounts at a very fast pace guys i wish i had this round when i first started off so if you guys want to be a part of the patreon that link is going to be down in the comment section ticker symbol number three iipr innovative industrial properties now they invest into let's see if i can say this word on youtube let's just say medical companies for medical purposes right so they invest into that now what they do is that they are a real estate read now real estate REITs are uh, real estate investment trusts and they are required by law to pay out 90 percent of their profits back to their in investors us in the form of dividends right so now they're one of the first i could say cannabis we have one of the first cannabis companies that actually pay out dividends now what they do they don't actually grow it they don't sell it all they do is that they lease the land to the growers and as it's starting to get more popular uh, more legalized throughout the, the united states and across the world um we don't actually have to just invest into certain strains we can invest into the land that these strains are being grown on and that way we know that we're going to have income because whether if they sell something or not if they sell any of their strains or not we're going to get paid from these companies just growing it on their um land so that's iipr over the last year they're up 31 percent over the last five years they're up 1232 percent i'm up 163 percent uh, i talked about iipr last year i wish i would have got a lot more and they have a dividend yield of 2.18 percent so that's iipr they pay out their dividends every single quarter stock number four is exxon mobile ticker symbol xom over the last year they're up 46 percent now the reason i love them is because they still have not recovered from the pandemic all of the way yet they need to get up to around 70 dollars right now that's 61 they have a sweet dividend yield of 5.7 
2.2%. So they have an amazing dividend yield. I know the, the world is going green. A lot of people are going electric, but it still it still takes oil and gas in order to produce um, batteries. It still takes oil and gas in order to um, build windmills. So it still takes oil and gas. We're not there yet. Maybe in the next 50 years, we'll be there to where everything is completely electric, um, built by electric. But right now, it's still going to take oil and gas. And it's not going to take anything for a, let's say, a $258 billion market cap company to start to transition from oil and gas um, over to the electric uh, to the electric industry. It would take nothing for them to just flip the switch like that. This company is going to be around to last and they have a pretty high, sweet dividend yield. Uh, once again, a 5.72%. So that's stock number four, ExxonMobil. Bringing us to stock number five, which is Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG. Now, Procter & Gamble has been completely killing the guys since I've been investing into them. They're up 15% over the last five years. They're up 85%. I'm up 18%. Um, Procter & Gamble has a dividend yield of 2.12%. Now, why I love Procter & Gamble is because if you go inside any grocery store, Walmart, Target, they own pretty much every, they have a product on every aisle in every grocery store they own, all right? So that's Procter & Gamble. Uh, go look it up. They own, I'm probably pull up a screenshot. They own a, a long list of items inside of their company, guys. If you walk inside the store and buy something nine times out of 10, they made it. Now, Procter & Gamble, the reason why they're on this list is because, like I said before, Pepsi is a dividend aristocrat, about to be a dividend king, but Procter & Gamble is a dividend king. They have been increasing their dividends for the last 65 years, guys. They've been through a recession, a pandemic, another recession, and for the last 65 years, they found a way to increase their dividends. That's how you know that they're gonna continue to increase their dividends. If they could outlast that, they're gonna be able to continue to increase their dividends over the next couple of years guys so they have a pretty safe dividend score so if you invest into Procter and gamble you're probably not at risk of them cutting their dividends at all and that way you know that you will have consistent dividend income on your way to retirement you don't have to worry about a company cutting their dividends you know that you're going to get paid out and that consistency and dividends is going is the best passive income that there is and that's going to bring us to stock point five. This is to have a, a company that I would personally never invest into, but they are an amazing dividend company, uh, which is ticker symbol MO Archer. They are the cigarette company. I've lost too many people to cancer, which is why I don't smoke and why I can never invest into MO. But if you are a smoker or you really don't care about that and you just want to make money, um, this is a great company to invest into. They have a seven 0.45 dividend yield they make a product that is so addictive that it doesn't care that it is harming their own health that it causes cancer it's going to keep them coming back the nicotine is going to keep them coming back the smoking cancer stick is going to keep them coming back so if you invest into them you know that you're going to have a customer for life you know that you're going to get paid out dividends for life a pretty high dividend yield 7.45 percent but the only thing is is that uh i can't do it i can't invest into uh altria and other cigarette companies i can you know but you know i can't do it but but yeah that's the reason why it's 0.5 because you can invest into it you can make a ton of money you can make a killing but i'm gonna have to sit on the sideline on this one which makes it a 0.5 and there you go guys that is the top five point five dividend companies that could generate you passive income for a lifetime to where you don't have to do anything at all collect that check reinvest it and get paid even more the next couple of months guys so if there are any other companies that i forgot make sure you go down to the comment section drop a comment down there on great dividend companies that you've been investing into that have been paying you out for a while now drop that down in the comment section but don't forget to pick up your five free stocks over on Weeble, your five free stocks on moomoo Moo, and pick up some free cryptocurrency by clicking the link to coinbase down in the description but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace